Hello to all. In this video, we will solve a specimen paper 2, paper code 0625, which is Cambridge ITCSC board. For the question from 1 to 20, the video has been uploaded already. And in this video, we will solve question number from 21 to 40. Which statement describes monochromatic light? So option B, light that has a single frequency as monochromatic light is a light that has only one wavelength or single frequency. Here mono refers to single and chrome definitely means color. So option B is right. An object is placed 8 cm from a thin covering lens of focal length 5 cm. Which statement about the image formed by the lens is correct? Here a converging lens, this is a converging lens and a converging lens is an optical lens that converts all rays of light passing through. As long as the object is outside of the focal point, here this is an object and this object is placed outside the focal point point this is the focal point so the image is real and inverted here we can see that if an object is placed outside the focal length the image will be real the image formed from a converging lens real and inverted so option a the image is real and inverted is the correct one here a ray of light travels through transparent plastic to air the medium this side is transparent plastic and this is air. The ray of light enters the air traveling parallel to the surface of the plastic. The refractive index of the plastic is 1.25. What is the angle theta? This theta we have to find out. So when light travels from a medium with a higher refractive index to a lower one, the refractive index of the plastic medium will be more as compared to the medium with air. The angle of refraction is here 90 degree. So when the angle of refraction formed is 90 degree, then the angle of incidence at that point is called critical angle. We know that Snell's law says that sin i by sin r, where i is the angle of incidence and r is angle of refraction, is equal to 1 by mu. Here angle of incidence is critical angle. So sin theta c divided by sin 90, this is equal to 1 by mu. Mu is a refractive index. So we can solve using this relationship and theta see the critical angle here is 53.1 degree. So option D is the correct one here. What is the speed of electromagnetic waves in a vacuum? As we know that electromagnetic waves travels with a speed of light and the speed of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So in kilometer per second it will be 3 into 10 to the power 5 kilometer per second. A pulse of sound is produced at the bottom of a boat. This is a boat and a pulse of sound is produced. The sound travels through the water and is reflected from the seabed. The, this is a seabed. The sound reaches the boat again after 1.3 seconds. The seabed is 1000 meter below the boat. Using this information, what is the speed of sound in the water? So we know that speed is equal to distance divided by time. Here the total distance will be 2000 meter and time is given in covering this 2000 meter distance. It is 1.3 second. So speed is equal to distance divided by time. It is 1538 meter per second and the approximate value is 1500 meter per second. Option C is the correct one. A sheet of ice floats on water. This is a ice sheet. A source of sound S is positioned at the edge of the ice sheet. Four microphones are placed equal distances from S. A, B, C, D. These four microphones are placed. Which microphone detects the sound from S first? So the microphone placed at B will detect the sound first because sound travels fastest through solids. Here the medium is air. For D and C, the medium is water. So option B is the correct one. The electromotive force EMF of a mobile phone battery is 3.7 volt. What does this mean? We know that electromotive force is defined as W by Q. 
where W is the work done and Q is the charge. So we can explain this that to drive a one coulomb charge around a complete circuit, 3.7 joule of work has to be done. So 3.7 joule of energy is provided by the battery to drive a charge of one coulomb around a complete circuit. Option C is the correct one. A water heater is connected to a 230 volt supply and there is a current of 26 ampere in the heater. It takes 20 minutes to heat the water to the required temperature. How much energy is supplied by the heater? Here we know this relationship. Heat energy H is equal to VIT. Here V is 230 volt, I is 26 ampere current and time is 20 minutes. 20 minutes, 1200 seconds. So H value is 7.2 into 10 to the power 6 joule. Option D is the correct one. An electric kettle has a metal casing. The cable for the kettle contains a wire that is connected to the earth pin of the plug. Which danger does this guard against? So we know that the earth wire is a safety wire to stop the appliance becoming live. If there was no earth wire, the live wire could touch the metal casing and the whole kettle would become live. So option B says the casing of the kettle becoming live. So option B is the correct one here. An electric current can produce a heating effect and a magnetic effect. Which row shows the effect that a relay uses and one application of a relay? So what is a relay? A relay is a simple electromechanical switch. While we use normal switches to close or open a circuit manually, a relay is also a switch that connects or disconnects two circuits. But instead of a manual operation, a relay uses an electrical signal to control an electromagnet, which in turn connects or disconnects another circuit. So see the magnetic effect is the effect used by a relay and the application of a relay allowing a small current to switch on a large current. Option C is the correct one here. The diagram shows a bar magnet and a coil of wire. The bar magnet is moved at the same speed in each experiment. In which situation is the largest EMF electromotive force induced? In case A and B, the coil is stationary but bar magnet is moving. In case A, it is moving toward the coil and in case B, it is moving away from the coil. But in both cases, there will be induced current and so there will be induced EMF. The direction of the current will be opposite in case A and B. Is D the bar magnet and coil both moves at the same speed and same direction. So the relative motion between the bar magnet and coil is zero. So the induced EMF will be zero. In case C, when both the coil and the magnet move toward each other with a speed, let's say it's V, the relative speed of one with respect to other is twice. Clearly the induced EMF will be largest in case C. Increasing the transmission voltage in transmission cables reduces power losses. What is the explanation for this reduction? So transmission losses are caused due to electric current heating up the transmission line medium. And we know that heat energy is equal to I square RT. So heat energy loss is proportional to square of current. Reducing the current can significantly reduce the heat losses. So option A says that the current decreases reducing thermal energy losses is the correct one here. There is an electric current in a straight wire in the direction into the page. This produces magnetic field around the wire. All the field lines are circles but only one field line is shown here. This is the magnetic field line. And which row describes the magnetic field? So we should try to understand here some points that when you notice a circle with a dot in the center, here a cross is given. When you notice a dot this figure shows the symbol for current pointing out of the screen. And when you see a circle with a cross in the center, this figure shows the symbol for current pointing into the screen. This is a difference. The field 
with a dot in the center in the figure with the current pointing out of the screen points counter clockwise here in this case the field in the figure with the current pointing into the screen points clockwise so here in option d the direction of the field line is clockwise definitely as distance from the wire increases the circles are spaced further apart this indicates a decreasing magnetic field strength so option d the spacing of the field line more widely spaced further from the wire option d is the correct one here the diagram shows emission from a source passing into the electric field between two charged plates what is emitted by this source here we can see that the particle when passing through a electric field line attracts toward the negative plate and the one line is undeflected which shows that the path of particle is undeflected the particle is undeflected when it passes through the electric field so we know that gamma rays are neutral particle are made up of neutral particle and alpha particle is a positively charged particle so when it enters into the electric field it will be attracted toward the negative plate so option c alpha particle and gamma rays only is the correct one here which row in the table describes the process of nuclear fusion and identifies the change in total mass of the particles involved so nuclear fusion is a process by which two light atomic nuclei combine to form a single heavier one while releasing massive amounts of energy total mass of the resulting single nucleus is less than the mass of the two original nuclei so the missing mass is converted into nuclear energy so the process is two small nuclei combine to form a larger nucleus and change in total masses decreases the total mass of resulting single nucleus is less than the mass of two original nuclei so it decreases option c is the correct one here the orbit of the moon around the earth is modeled as a circular path of radius the radius is given here the orbital period is 29.5 days what is the orbital speed of the moon so orbital speed is the total distance it is 2 pi r it is a circular track divided by the time period t so r value and time period t is given put in the formula and the orbital speed is 3.4 into 10 to the power 3 km per hour which is statement does not describe redshift redshift is an increase in the wavelength when the wavelength of the light is stretched so the light is seen as shifted toward the red part of the spectrum this is a visible spectrum and the violet has a shortest wavelength around 380 nanometers and the red has the longest wavelength around 700 nanometer a is the right one here let's read other option option b says the light arriving at the earth from the receding star is always red shifted yes because receding star is going away from the earth so the wavelength is stretched c during red shift the wavelength of the observed light is longer than it is if the red shift had not occurred yes right the light from stars in all distant galaxies is moved toward the red end of the spectrum yes because from the distant galaxies the light from the stars will be shifted toward the longer wavelength of the spectrum option a says that all the light emitted from all distant galaxies is at the red end of the spectrum so this does not describe red shift option a is the right one here thank you for watching this video for other papers we will upload our video very soon please like subscribe and share and don't forget to leave your comment here thank you very much once again